It is a very smooth album. It's true that the uh, because the uh, because there are so many drums playing uh, at once, any, you know, anywhere from eight to fourteen drums, uh, and the rhythm is uh, the polyrhythms are so uh, so tightly integrated. I tended to make the melody lines uh, simpler and you know longer and maybe more. Uh, I don't want to say more melodic, but uh, they're longer melody lines than uh, than there was uh, in Graceland, uh, and that's that's true. And the, as far as the production goes, well, a lot of the sound of the record uh, is the responsibility of Roy Halley, uh, the engineer, who also was the engineer of. Uh, all of the Simon and Garfunkel albums, and uh, Graceland as well. Uh, but I think this time in his uh, meticulous recording of, of all the different percussion instruments and the drums, he's made a very textured album that has a, a, um, it has a nice sense of space and depth to mm. it. Um, it seems it's, he almost captured the, the feeling of, of the jungle. It's, it sounds very lush. Although it is an African, Brazilian, American project, to me, this is much more Paul Simon traditional sound, too. Uh, well, I think that element that's uh, typical of my music melodically and even lyrically is, is really always there, was there in Graceland as well. All the albums, to me, seem to have a a, th uh, a thread that connects them all the way back into uh, the early Simon and Garfunkel albums. Of course, there's a development, uh, but there's something that connects uh, all of them. There's never a, really a change of direction that is so abrupt that it severs the, the ties with the previous album completely.